Hi, this is Benin from Be Fit Women's Exercise Studio. Today I have an upper body strength workout for you. We are going to be doing five groups of exercises. It will all be super sets, working our chest, our back, our triceps, our biceps and our shoulders. Everything we will be doing is 10 reps. You're going to need some dumbbells or either water bottles or some heavy object to hold that is challenging for you. We're going to go right into it. We're starting with our chest superset. So we're going to be on the mat doing push-ups combined with a chest press. So going down to your mat, hands underneath the shoulders. I'm going to do the modified push-up on the knees. You're welcome to do the full push-up as well. Ready, down we go for 10. One body in a straight line. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, we're going to go into our chest press. So we're going to go down onto our mat. You hang on our back, grab your weight, arms out, palms facing forward, press to the top, one, two, so super set is completing three, the two exercises of each other, only then a rest, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, we're going to have a little shake out. We're going to go back to our push ups for set two. We are doing three sets push ups ready. Here we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and immediately on your back again for your chest press. And up we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. We've got one round to go. So we're heading right back to those push ups again. Ready, and down we go. One, two, three. Four, five, halfway there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last round of the chest press. And up we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Right, we're going to come up to go into our back superset. We're going to be doing our bent over rows as well as our bent over flies. So we're going to do the bent over row with the elbows out. Feet shoulder width apart, soft bend in your knees. Take your body forward, palms face towards you and squeeze shoulder blades to the spine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, 
nine and ten and then we're going to go to our bend over fly body in the same position but palms facing towards each other and flying out one two three four five squeezing that shoulder blade to the five spine six seven eight nine and ten well done roll it up we've got two more rounds of these to go starting again with your bent over row and here we go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then again that's a bend over flies and here we go one two three four five six seven eight two more yeah nine ten well done you've got one more round to go so if you're really squeezing between those shoulder blades one more round of bent over row and bent over fly ready there's the row one two three four five six seven eight nine one more here and ten and then again that bent over fly ready and fly back one two three four five six seven eight last two push through there we go well done put your weights down for a second as well and just shake those arms out next up we're going to be targeting our shoulders you can grab a sip of water as well for our shoulders we're going to be doing shoulder press as well as front raises we're going to be doing a narrow shoulder press today so we should keep those palms facing towards each other press up and down you can put your one foot in front to protect the back two three four five so this puts a bit more six the front part of the shoulder seven eight nine one more ten and you can hold just one heavier dumbbell as well if you want to we're going to go for that front braces also just for a change of angle we're going to have the palms facing towards each other with both your weights or holding one dumbbell on the sides and here we go one up to the line with the shoulders two And strong arms work through that burn. Seven, eight, nine, one more left. Ten. Well done. Okay, we're going to go back to that narrow shoulder presses. Ready? Let's lift up. One, two, three four five six seven eight 
legs, last two, pushing up. One more. Awesome. Okay, back to those front raises again with our palms facing towards each other or having your one weight on the side. Make sure you activate your tummy muscles as well. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Well done, check it out, you've got one more set of upper body lift. That narrow press. Ready. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Okay, last round of those front raises with palms facing towards each other. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's great. Let's do that other arm. One, two, three, four. on that triceps, that kickbacks again, elbows up and take it back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more again. Yeah. 10, well done, and let's go back to the last set of that single arm, or two sets with both, and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's do the other arm. One, two, three, four, five. If you have a stability ball, a lot of these exercises, six, can be done seated on your stability ball to make it a bit more challenging because you'll be activating the core more as well. So if you want to do that, you're welcome to be seated on your stability ball as well. Okay, so that brings us to into our triceps. Let's give the arms a shake out and then it's just those biceps that still need to be worked. For our biceps, we're going to be starting off with our bicep curls. Starting with your palms facing towards your body and then turn your palms to face upwards towards you. So we'll add in a little rotation making sure there's a little bit of an extra squeeze on that bicep muscles you are also welcome to do this with one weight holding on the side depending on which weights you're using if you feel your lighter ones is too light but one heavier one holding on the sides will be the most challenging for you so just just change it up as you feel you need to to make sure you are challenged and okay, here we go one Two, remember our body stays still, no swinging. Three, and you really squeeze for that bicep when you get to the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we're going to do hammer curls across our body, alternating side so you go across and across now you got it focus on that biceps we're doing 20 reps in total so that it's 10 on each arm six to go Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're going to go back to the double bicep curl again. Ready? And here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, squeeze that bicep on top. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then that hammer curls across the body again. Put twenty in total. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, I should 
sure you get closer. Seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten. Six more. Doing great work through the back. Two and one. Well done. One more set left, then we are done. Okay. Check it out. Let's get into it. Let's burn out those arms. Here we go. Up. One. Two. So you are welcome to always three pause your videos on certain spots if you want a little bit of a longer rest between the sets. Because I do want you to complete all your reps. So if you feel it is moving a bit too fast, you need extra rest, pause your video, take an extra rest. We are doing strength training so you can take one more rep, a longer rest to recover, especially when you're really challenging yourself with those weights that are challenging for you. Welcome to take a longer rest. And let's finish off with those hammer curls across the body. to give yourself a longer workout depending on what you are planning to do today. I hope you enjoyed it and see you again. Bye!